Well, 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 what do we have here? It is just in your guidance to the Forgotten Runeverse. And we're starting the day with Axie Infinity posting a wizard emote and then posting a picture of an Axie walking through the gate into the Forgotten Runeverse. So I'm sure you guys saw all the hints on the Twitter timeline, but there have been some particular rumors of Runeverse coming to Ronin, and I'll give uh, I'll show the clip here in just a second from Jihos.ron a couple days ago where he was talking about Ronin Forge, but he said, we're brewing something up for this week. And what did he say in this announcement? We'll jump in. Hmm. So, so keep an eye out next week because we have something magical coming to the Rodin universe. So yeah, keyword magical. So. <laughs> keyword magical is something something magical is coming to the universe what else so is it that's kind of a riddle and chew on that for a bit yes, okay so he said chew on that for a bit but um these two tweets are just straight up like oh there it is <laughs> so in unrelated news uh, dota also posted a very big update to the Forgotten Runeverse market, and this is actually a really big update too. So, uh, speculation slash, I guess this is technically like a soft, a soft reveal. <laughs> oh my god, what is going on, Rose? Um, wow, what a what a packed week. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, we'll talk about where you can get the best information because tomorrow is gonna be Wizard Wednesday. So let's break down what Dota announced as a very, very large update, especially if you are looking for wizards too. So this is uh, on a slightly, okay, really big side note here. Forgotten Runes is a massive ecosystem, right? 10 plus official collections that span storytelling and gaming. Community collections on Ethereum, Ordinals, Polygon, plus more. Today we're releasing a new marketplace that houses all of it. We have tons of original features, buckle up. So if you guys aren't familiar, the old forgotten marketplace uh, or forgotten.market, um, that was pretty, uh, that was like the original wizard marketplace, but um, it was lacking some features that we will go over in this thread. But he said, Forgotten Runes has tons of original ideas that justifies a custom market. So first of all, characters have lore, Affinity is a measure of cohesiveness in the magic of a wizard uh, of a wizard. And then we also have land for the game. So there is a Zillow, a Zillow feature coming soon. And then we love community collections and there are walk cycles and 3D models. So that's pretty important, especially if you are looking for a wizard with or without lore. Uh, especially if you're affinity hunting. And then additionally, I also saw that there were some extremely useful uh filter uh, quality of life improvements such as like filter previews and um, stuff related to that of which we will take a look at in the official uh, website breakdown but at the very end I do have a call to take a look at the uh, wizard Wednesday call that's tomorrow so you should definitely join that but we'll get that we'll get back to that um, so again let's kind of see on a character's page you can now see the wizard's affinity Affinity is a measure, so why is this important? So it's a measure of how the character's traits harmonize to form a unique or, or a, a unified magical pre, uh, essence or theme. This is the great old one. It's a four or five redant, a wizard with a perfect affinity are especially prized. So he kind of has this uh, breakdown here where you can kind of see the new UI, UX for, you know, your, your wizards. You can toggle between 2D and 3D, as well as kind of see the props and the preview of those traits. And then again, you know, you can kind of see what affinity is, Verdant, four out of five. And then additionally, we do have an affinity trait, uh, you know, breakdown here, 10,000 wizards. Each wizard has a combination of three to six traits, every trait, excluding the back. Why don't I just open this up in a new tab and kind of break down affinities because I don't think affinities is that looked into um, and we should probably break it down for the sake of it. So every trait, excluding the background, 
exist in several themed collections called affinities. And affinities are identifiable by numerical ideas from 1 through 285. So, for example, Affinity 107 contains a collection of traits related to nature. So this is the nature affinity. And if a wizard is 100% attuned of all traits in a single affinity, then it has a maximum affinity, right? So 100% attuned is the maximum six traits. So again, that's just kind of a breakdown of affinity, but Dota kind of goes over it here. But in this thread, for each of the traits, we've added icons and floor prices, right? Excuse me. So you can click through to find other wizards with the same trait and place a bid on specific traits, right? So if you're looking through the traits of the great old one and you have an interest in that particular head trait, you can click on it and it will essentially pull up more of the same wizard that may or may not be listed, right? So that's very important. Then you can kind of see there's a breakdown of the, uh, the, the filter here is really useful because on OpenSea and the other one on other marketplaces, you can't see a preview of that specific trait, right? So if you're looking for a gold skeleton or an Illuminatus or a pumpkin head or a flame head or, you know, a seer, et etc., et cetera, you'd be able to do that. And that kind of applies to like familiars, bodies, um, et cetera, et cetera. So that's really important. I like that feature a lot. Um, and then again, the, the marketplace is cross chain. We've got Bitcoin ordinals for the shadows, the Runiverse game rings, and then runes trading card games on Polygon, right? So you can kind of see the shadows here as well. You can also see the rings from for the forgotten Runiverse. <laughs> and then in addition, we have the runes trading card game as well. So I love runes. So let's keep moving on. So the marketplace has community collections, right? So Forgotten Runes is a collaborative legendarium, right? One of our principles is ours over official which means that it is the community that creates the intellectual property. It belongs to all of us. That's one of the core tenets of the wizard cult, right? You are invited to create your character, write your lore into the book of lore, um, make your story, <laughs> complete your story, <laughs> and, you know, just, man, just jump into the game too, right? So the canon is in the community. The point is crucial for a project. So again, in 2021, Cool Cats DMCA'd all Little Cool Cats projects, and I still feel that this is antithetical to the ethos of a Web3 project, says Dota. I joked that if I, I would love if someone made a Baby Wizards project, and they did, right? So you can kind of see the uh, community created this project um, as a derivative of the official collections, and, you know, it's, it's, inside, of, it's inside of the marketplace, which is kind of wild. Um, so... It's kind of keep going on. So as you can find, they are alongside our official collections on this marketplace too. So by all means, you can check out that collection if that is uh, up your alley. But not just babies, but wizard punks, Cumberland heroes, Komodo dragons, black sand mounts, and a host of other projects built and collected by our community, right? So there are a ton of different um, derivative projects. Holy shit, I have not seen this blue goat enable. <laughs> That one looks pretty wild. This one looks pretty cool. But again, these are kind of like the community projects that are also listed on the website. So Forgotten Runes has builders. These are not merely derivatives. I promise if you dig into these collections, you'll see more games, apps, and mechanics than most other primary NFTs. There's racing, token burning, egg hatching, speed racing. If you are a builder, then the Forgotten Runes wizard cult is for you. One of the coolest community projects we have is Runes TCG, a playable trading card game with hundreds of cards created by community artists. And by all means, I would say I love I love Runes TCG. I actually had a tutorial video on how to play in, a, in an interview with Givahoot, the creator. And I would say that community project has like branched me out into the artists like Mech. Um, on the, I think, I believe the Tazel Splat chain. Um, and his art is amazing. So, you know, just seeing the collaboration between these community projects and how everything in the wizard cult is just cumulative in nature is like really amazing, in my opinion. That's, I think that's, that's kind of why I have my wizard on. <laughs> but don't complain to me that there are too many collections. It's too complicated that it splits liquidity, blah, blah, blah. We're building a global franchise over the last 100 years. These collections are storytelling tools that build the brand itself. So Dota said, you know, we have a vast magical world and a supportive community, a monetizable IP that attracts builders. And by making something people love and want to build on, this is how we win. 
every oh and then additionally he talks about every single wizard soul and soon and soon warriors will have a fully rigged 3d model and then you can kind of see that model on the market we'll kind of take a look at a couple of these um inside of the marketplace as well we'll just do a brief breakdown too so again flame heads look really crazy um inside of the runiverse game they're actually kind of animated i think the i think a couple of other collections inside of the runiverse as their 2d version when they're walk cycling around have a couple of really sick animations that are really cool and then every wizard soul and warrior also has a 2d walk cycle again which you can download in the sprite sheet uh sprite sheet on the market and you're free to use it in your own games if you decide to build alongside the uh the, the wizards uh yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome as well. And then we've got the lore of each character on their listing page. And it's a good time to mention that we use the lore in our globally published comic book and pay the authors to license their IP. So again, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Again, this one's Maddo. This is Maddo's wizard. So, um, you know, he's pretty basically the... <laughs> Oh my God, I, I don't even know where to, to begin here. But yeah, basically Matt has been putting so much uh, lore inside of their wizard and you can see uh, his wizard inside of the comic of uh, number four of the comic book series. So that is pretty insane in my opinion. Um, and then again, show me another NFT project operating at this level. Uh, you can't, says Dota. So, and then, ah, oh, <laughs> the universe game has a plot, has plots of land where you can build, craft and customize. And in the in the marketplace, we have we have a Zillow feature where you can find your perfect home, which is coming soon. So, again, uh, yo, if you got land that you got from the first Runiverse playtest, whether you earned it or you, you decided to blast through mana to get it, um, you'll be able to kind of see where it is inside of the map. So that is that's pretty wild. <laughs> Location may matter. I may have to do a video on like what's important inside of a lands, but it's outside of the scope of this video. So we'll cover it in a different one. But again, if you wanted to check out the marketplace, it is the most robust collection mark. Uh, Romo ah, is the best version of the marketplace thus far. As our project diverges from a bog standard NFT project, we'll be adding more unique features and you can check out the marketplace here. And if you want to see it more, if you want to, if you want more people to see forgotten runes market, uh, market, then like bookmark and retweet the official post. So again, uh, we did do that. <clears throat> so again, why don't we take a look at the official marketplace? So again, everything is kind of here. If you're looking for anything in particular, most people are kind of looking for wizards, their first uh, forever wizard. Uh, or you can take a look at like the souls or the uh, warriors. Um, the warriors tend to be a, a, a pretty interesting collection, too, because, you know, they're only like 0 0.05e. Um, whereas wizards are at 0 0.5. <laughs> Holy moly. But yeah, why don't we take a look at some wizards, right? I would say... Yeah, why don't I just pull up mine first? So mine's two, uh, two, six, two. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to turn off the filter. Uh, I'll have to change this to like buy now or something like that. Okay, well, I'm trolling. <laughs> okay, I can't do it. It's over. <laughs> but um, yeah, why don't we take a look at some wizards here? Okay, I'm trolling here. But basically, if you wanted to check out some wizards, you could take a look at it. You can kind of see if there is art or lore um, inside of the page as well. But why don't we try to find something pretty cool here so i'll just kind of scroll through you guys can take a look as well but you know if i wanted to get something like this that has a dark sister head you know i'll click on it so again you can kind of see everything from the name the price where it's listed on the marketplace you kind of see the offers as well but you know it's what's more important um to me whenever i'm picking up a wizard is taking a look at its traits right so you can kind of see um you know she has a purple cloak her background is green she has a blue rat familiar as well as a rune of earth and then again dark sister head as well as a Harmony Staff. You can kind of see the blue shift affinity here. You can kind of see it's three out of five is what Dodo was uh, referring to earlier. As well as the bio, you know, she's an enchanter. Uh, her name is Sandra and she, his or, her origin is Brambles. So um, I wasn't too, uh, I, I, I haven't seen, I, I wasn't paying attention before in the old marketplace. So, you know, seeing all this information is really useful. And then again, you can kind of see whether your wizard has lore or not. And in her case, she does. She has a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of lore here, which you can kind of see. Some people, you know, like having loreless wizards when they pick up their first one, or, you know, you might want to pick up a wizard that already has lore existing. And again, you can toggle between 2D and 3D here. You can kind of basically, you know, click and drag to kind of rotate her around um, or rotate the wizard that you're looking for too. But yeah, again, that's just kind of the breakdown of the Forgotten Runes marketplace. By all means, this is probably the place to get started. 
Again, you can also take a look at things inside of the game, such as the Forgotten Riniverse Watchers rings or the items, as well as other relics and community projects as well. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I definitely, ch I would definitely go check it out and see for yourself. But last but not least, the most important thing actually um, is, uh, okay, well, uh, post from Tanya, she said, get your cult content in for the cult content chronicles every single week. Um, tomorrow's issue will be going out earlier than usual due to Wizard Wednesday airing at 11 a.m. Pacific time or PT. But what she was talking about is the Forgotten Runiverse Wizard Cult Wizard Wednesday. And Wizard Wednesday, if you guys aren't familiar, is a place to get updated or just to hang out in general with the Wizard Cult. But I would say you should jump into this one because it's Wizard Wednesday number 156. Cults that game together with special guests so i have a certain magical feeling that we uh we should probably keep our uh, keep an eye on this one probably take an extended bathroom break from work uh because this one is at 2 p.m est eastern time or 11 a.m pacific time so again I, I can only imagine what this uh this wizard wednesday announcement um or space could be so anyways you guys already know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button. All the information will be in the description below, especially if you guys want to check out the forgotten mar the new forgotten market, as well as the Dota thread that kind of goes over everything in the ecosystem. And again, I will also link the, um, the <laughs> Axie Infinity, uh, maybe like soft uh, leak post announcement. <laughs> but anyways, it's going to be epic. You guys know what to do. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.